Hi, I'm Matt Essany. I'm a product manager at Intel Corporation. I'm gonna take you under the hood of the Intel Ethernet Controller XL710. When you're deploying a service for business, it's really about that end-to-end -end delivery. So if the network becomes the bottleneck, now you no longer have a responsiveness to your business needs. So you really have to have this balanced end-to-end -end solution. At Intel, we are embracing a software-defined infrastructure at all levels. We really have to think about flexible networking for these software-defined infrastructures. With the Intel Xeon E5v3, we see a proliferation of core accounts, and you really have to think about the network when you're balancing that processor and these network traffic flows. In order to address this proliferation of cores, we recently released the Intel Ethernet Controller XL710 family. It's a controller and a converged network adapter designed for the E5v3 platform. We architected this device from the ground up for comm service providers, telecommunications or comms infrastructure, and private enterprise clouds. The Intel XL710 comes in 10 gig and 40 gig, and we have all sorts of interfaces that are supported by the device. The XL710 delivers double the bandwidth at half the power, so it really provides data center managers with this elegant glide path to getting to these higher speeds. Network virtualization is a trend in the industry. The reason data center managers are so excited about it is it gives them agility in their data centers. When you move virtual machines around, the actual network moves with it. This allows multi-tenancy, it allows them to scale their networks, and the flexibility to deploy services quickly and respond to business needs. With the XL710, we are now able to deploy with network virtualization capabilities as quickly as we can our applications. The XL710 has offloads or accelerators for network virtualized traffic, specifically VXLAN, network virtualization, generic routing encapsulation, also known as MVGRE, and Geneve. And it's been optimized for Intel DPDK. This allows for small packet performance, so associated network services can now be uh, aligned to compute services and rapidly deployed, making uh, network functions virtualization, or NFV, a reality. Network functions virtualization is simply taking our network appliances that are often proprietary and virtualizing them on general Intel architecture. By being able to do this, we reduce our costs and improve our ability to respond We've been developing Intel Ethernet Flow Director for some time. If you don't have Flow Director, your traffic is sent to a core, but it isn't intelligently sent to that core, context switching has to occur, and that invokes latencies on your system. Flow Director is 8,000 perfect match filters that's stored on die to ensure that traffic has flowed directly to the right core the first time. And by doing that, you improve your latency times, there's no context switching. You can actually, in some cases with cloud applications, see up to two times the performance using Flow Director. The XL710 is like going from a country highway with buggies on it to a interstate freeway with modern cars. You're getting this great bandwidth and lots of flexibility. If you want to know more about the Intel Ethernet Controller XL710 family, go to intel.com forward slash go forward slash ethernet.